The UCLA Bruins football program represents the University of California, Los Angeles, in college football as members of the Pac-12 Conference at the NCAA Division IFBS level. The Bruins have enjoyed several periods of success in their history, having been ranked in the top 10 of the AP poll at least once in every decade since the poll began in the 1930s. Their first major period of success came in the 1950s, under head coach Henry Russell Sanders. Sanders led the Bruins to the Coaches Poll National Championship in 1954, three conference championships, and an overall record of 66-19-1 in nine years. In the 1980s and 1990s, during the tenure of Terry Donahue, the Bruins compiled a 151-74-8 record, including 13 bowl games and an NCAA record eight straight bowl wins. The program has produced 28 first-round picks in the NFL draft, 30 consensus All-Americans, and multiple major award winners, including Heisman winner Gary Bebin. The UCLA Bruins' main rival is the USC Trojans. Chip Kelly became head coach in 2018. The Bruins were the Pac-12 Conference South Division champions for two years in a row and played Pac-12 football championship games in both 2011 and 2012. History See also, List of UCLA Bruins football seasons, List of UCLA Bruins bowl games, and List of Pac-12 Conference football standings. Early History 1919-1948 Fred Cousins, UCLA's first head football coach The first football team fielded by UCLA took the field in 1919. The team was coached by Fred Cousins, and compiled a 2-6 record. UCLA did not participate in an athletic conference until 1920, so the 1919 football team played a schedule full of local high schools and other assorted teams. Cousins was UCLA's athletics director from 1919 to 1942. Harry Trotter took over the young UCLA football program after Cousins stepped down after guiding the Bruins in their first season. UCLA began to play in the Southern California Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, SIAC, in 1920, and competed against Occidental College, California Institute of Technology, University of Redlands, Whittier College, and Pomona College. Coach Trotter's two wins were against Redlands and San Diego State, which did not join the SIAC until 1926. Trotter left UCLA with a 2-13-1 record in three seasons, 1920-1922. James J. Klein took over the Bruins football program as its third head coach in 1923. Coach Klein's two wins were against Loyola University and San Diego State. Klein was replaced after two seasons and a 2-10-3 record. Coach Spalding William H. Spalding came to UCLA from Minnesota in 1925. As the Bruins' head coach, his overall record in 14 seasons was 72-51-8. During his tenure in Los Angeles, Spalding led the Bruins to their first bowl appearance and victory the 1938 Poi Bowl. Also during Spalding's tenure, the Bruins left the SIAC and joined the Pacific Coast Conference beginning in 1928. Spalding's 72 wins rank him among the best in head coaching victories in Bruin football history. He retired after a successful 14-season tenure ended after the 1938 season. Edwin C. Horrell was promoted to head coach following Spalding's retirement. His 1942 UCLA Bruins team lost to Georgia in the 1943 Rose Bowl. He was the first coach to lead a UCLA team to defeat rival USC. It was the first football victory in the UCLA-USC rivalry. The most notable player who played for Horrell at UCLA was Jackie Robinson, who went on to a Hall of Fame career in professional baseball. Horrell's 1939 team compiled a 6-0-4 and his 1941 team posted a 5-5-1 record. With the exception of the 1942 season, the combined record of the Bruins during Horrell's tenure outside the aforementioned seasons was 6-22-1. These struggles led to Horrell's firing after six seasons at the helm of UCLA football. Coach Bert Labrachery was hired by his alma mater to replace Horrell. La Brucherie's overall record at UCLA was 23-16. In his second year as head coach, 
the Bruins were Pacific Coast Conference champions, but lost to Illinois in the Rose Bowl. La Brucherie's Bruins only posted one losing season during his four seasons, a 3 7 19 48 season in what turned out to be his final season. La Brucherie accepted the position of head football coach at California Institute of Technology after the 1948 season, departing UCLA. Henry Sanders era, 1949 1957. Henry Sanders came to UCLA from Vanderbilt. He was arguably the best coach in school history, with an overall record of 66-19-1.773, at UCLA and earned the school its only national championship in football in 1954. As head coach of the Bruins, Sanders led them to three Pacific Coast Conference, PCC, titles, two Rose Bowls, 1953 and 1955 seasons, and to a 6-3 record over arch-rival USC. Sanders instituted the distinctive football uniforms worn by the Bruins when he replaced the navy blue jerseys with baking powder keg blue, added the shoulder stripe to give the impression of motion, and changed the number style from block to Clarendon. Sanders said these changes were made to make it easier to see his Bruins on the grainy black and white game films of the time. The 1954 Bruins compiled a 9-0 record and climbed to the top of the coaches' poll sharing the national championship with Ohio State, winner of the AP Poll S title. Due to the PCC's early no-repeat rule, the undefeated Bruins were unable to compete in the Rose Bowl that season despite being the PCC champion. Second place USC, who the Bruins beat 34-0, played in the 1955 Rose Bowl instead and lost to Big Ten Conference champion and eventual CO national champion Ohio State, 27. Henry Sanders was also known for intensifying the Bruins' rivalry with USC. His teams were always given a speech before the game against their crosstown rivals that always ended with beat SC. A famous quote was attributed to Sanders regarding the rivalry, beating SC isn't a matter of life and death. It's more important than that. Shortly before the 1958 season was set to begin, coach Sanders suffered a heart attack and died in a Los Angeles hotel. Assistant coach George W. Dickerson took over the Bruins on an interim basis before suffering a nervous breakdown. Then, a full-time head coach was hired. For his successes, he was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame as a coach in 1996. William Barnes era, 1958-1964 William F. Barnes was the head coach for the UCLA Bruins football team for seven seasons. He guided his teams to a 31-34-3.478 record. He did have two seven-win seasons in 1960 and 1961, leading the Bruins to the 1962 Rose Bowl. That year, the Bruins finished the season ranked number 16 in the final AP poll. Barnes resigned after the 1964 season after learning that Athletics Director J.D. Morgan was not going to renew his contract. Tommy Prothrow era. 1965-1970. This section is too long. Consider splitting it into new pages, adding subheadings, or condensing it. January 2018. On January 11, 1965, Tommy Prothrow was hired away from Oregon State as head coach of the UCLA Bruins. In the 1965 football season, the Bruins lost their season opening game 13-3 at Michigan State who then rose to become the top-ranked team in the country. The unheralded Bruins would go on a seven-game undefeated streak, surprising national powers the likes of Syracuse and Penn State. Going into the 1965 UCLA-USC rivalry football game ranked number 7, the conference championship and 1966 Rose Bowl were on the line. Number 6 USC led by Heisman Trophy winner Mike Garrett led 16-6 until UCLA got a touchdown on a pass from Gary Bevan to Dick Witcher with four minutes to play. After the two-point conversion made it 16-14, UCLA recovered an onside kick. Bevan then hit Kurt Altenberg on a 50-yard bomb and UCLA won, 2016. Integrated UCLA then faced all-white Tennessee in the newly built Liberty Bowl Stadium in Memphis, Prothrow's native city. On the last play of the game, 
Tennessee defensive back Bob Petrella intercepted a UCLA pass to save a volunteer win by a score of 37-34. Tennessee's winning drive was aided by a controversial pass interference call, the clock had questionably stopped twice, and a dropped pass that appeared to be a lateral was recovered by UCLA, but was later ruled an incomplete forward pass. After the game, Prothrow stated, For the first time in my life, I am ashamed to be a Southerner. Prothrow and the Bruins went on to completed the season with a dramatic payback upset victory over the number one ranked Michigan State Spartans in the 1966 Rose Bowl, 14 12. This victory over the much stronger Spartans perpetuated the legend of the gutty little Bruins. Heading into the final game of the 1966 season versus USC, UCLA was 2 1 in conference games, 8 1 overall, and ranked number 5 in the country. The Bruins, featuring a dream backfield of All-Americans Gary Bebbin and Melfar, lost only one game, at Rainey Washington, 16-3, where Huskies head coach Jim Owens had devoted his entire season to beating pro throw. UCLA had beaten UW the season before, 28-24, with pro throw's trick play, the Z-streak in which a receiver trots towards the sideline like he's going out of the game and then runs a streak pattern unguarded by the inattentive defender. USC was 4-0 in conference and 7-1 overall, having lost to unranked Miami. The Bruins and Trojans played a different number of conference due to uneven scheduling caused by new AAWU members Oregon and Oregon State and schedules made years in advance. It was widely assumed that only losses would be considered and the winner of the 1966 UCLA USC game would go to the 1967 Rose Bowl. UCLA star quarterback Gary Bebbin broke his ankle the week before in a win over Stanford, but backup Norman Dow, making his first and only start at quarterback, led UCLA to a 14-7 win. That left USC with a 4-1 conference record, 7-2 overall, and number 5 UCLA with a 3-1 conference record, 9-1, overall. Due to their win over USC, it was widely assumed UCLA would get the Rose Bowl berth. However, a vote the next Monday among the AAWU Conference Athletic Directors awarded USC the Rose Bowl berth. It was speculated that the directors believed Bebbin could not play for UCLA in the Rose Bowl due to the broken ankle, thereby giving the Big Ten Conference representative, Purdue, a better chance to win. As it turned out, Bebbin could have played. But a bigger reason was that this was to make up for 1964 when Oregon State was voted in ahead of USC. The coach of Oregon State in 1964 was Prothrow. Another speculation was the vote was against UCLA out of pure jealousy by the rest of the conference, which voted 7-1 for the clearly inferior team. This vote deprived Prothrow of being the first coach to earn three consecutive Rose Bowl berths and UCLA athletic director J.D. Morgan called it a gross injustice and the a dark day in UCLA and AAWU athletic history. Inflamed UCLA students who had gathered for the Rose Bowl celebration rally, took to the streets of Westwood in protest and actually blocked the 405 freeway for a short time. Ironically, Morgan was the force behind establishing a tie-breaking method adopted by the conference one year later in which only loss column counted, the first tiebreaker was head-to-head -head results, followed by overall record. If there was still a tie the Rose Bowl berth would go to the team that had not played in the Rose Bowl the longest. But it was too late for UCLA. In their final game, USC made the AAWU decision look bad by losing to number 1 Notre Dame, 51-0. They went on to lose the Rose Bowl as well to Purdue, 14-13, finishing the season at 7-4. In 1967, Prothrow helped a second quarterback capture the Heisman Trophy when Gary Bebbin was awarded the trophy after the regular season. He would bring his number one ranked UCLA Bruin team to face number two USC in one of the games of the century. Despite playing with cracked ribs, Bebbin threw for 301 yards, but UCLA lost, 21 20, on a spectacular 64 yard run by O.J. Simpson in the 1967 USC vs. UCLA football game. Another big factor was UCLA's acclaimed sophomore kicker Zenon and Dusishin missing a chip shot field goal, and having two field goals and an extra point attempt blocked. In what was acknowledged to be a rebuilding year, 
the Bruins opened the 1968 season with a 63-7 defeat of Pittsburgh and a win over Washington State. The season ground to a halt at Syracuse and with the season-ending injury of quarterback Billy Bolden, and UCLA would win only one more game, over Stanford 2017. The Bruins gave No. 1 USC and Heisman Trophy winner O.J. Simpson a scare in a 28-16 loss, UCLA trailed 21-16 late in the fourth quarter and had the ball inside USC's 10-yard line but USC recovered a fumble and then used almost all of the remaining time in driving for their insurance touchdown. 1969 was the year Prothrow had geared his recruiting efforts towards as he believed this was his best team and was capable of contending for the national championship. The Bruins, quarterbacked by a sensational junior college transfer Dennis Dummett discovered by Prothrow, were undefeated until they faced No. 10 Stanford in Palo Alto. Once again, Prothrow was let down by now senior kickers and an Andrew Sishin as he missed a short field goal late in the game with the score tied 20-20. Suddenly, two long Jim Plunkett passes had Stanford in field goal range in the final seconds, but UCLA blocked Steve Horowitz's attempt to preserve the tie. Once again, the ugly USC game would decide the Pac-8 title and the 1970 Rose Bowl berth. UCLA was ranked 6th with a 5-0-1 record in conference and 8-0-1 overall USC was number 5 and was 6-0 in conference and 8-0-1 overall, tied Notre Dame in South Bend, 14-14, UCLA and USC were both unbeaten coming into their rivalry game for the first time since 1952. UCLA scored midway through the fourth quarter to take a 12-7 lead, knowing he need a win and not a tie to advance to the Rose Bowl. Prothrow had the Bruins go for two after each touchdown and each attempt failed. USC then drove to the winning touchdown with 1.38 to play to win 14-12. The Trojans were aided by two controversial calls, the first was a dubious pass interference call on Uckless Danny Graham on a 4th and 10 incompletion. Secondly, on the winning touchdown pass reception, USC receiver Sam Dickerson appeared to be either out of bounds, out of the back of the end zone, or both. This loss supposedly was harder for Prothrow to take than the 1967 loss and the freak officiating calls resembled the debacle at Tennessee in 1965. In what turned out to be his final season at UCLA, Prothrow's team suffered a rash of key injuries and finished 6-5, yet they were three close games from a 9-2 season and Rose Bowl berth. Before those injuries set in, UCLA took a 3-0 record into Austin to play defending national champ and top-ranked Texas. Trailing 13-3 at the half, UCLA rallied and had a 17-13 lead in the final minute. But with 12 seconds left, Texas completed a long pass when their receiver caught the ball between two UCLA defenders, who then collided, allowing the receiver to score. UCLA also blew a 20-point fourth-quarter lead against Oregon when Ducks sophomore quarterback Dan Fouts rallied his team to three touchdowns and a 41-40 win. Finally, there came the showdown with Stanford, the game was expected to be a shootout between UCLA quarterback Dennis Dummett and Heisman winner Jim Plunkett. But the defenses ruled as UCLA took a 7-6 lead into the fourth quarter. Stanford took a 9-7 lead on a field goal but UCLA was driving to a potential game-winning field goal or touchdown themselves when they completed a pass inside the Stanford 10-yard line, only to have the receiver get sandwiched by two defenders on the tackle and fumble. This game ultimately decided the Pac-8 championship and 1971 Rose Bowl representative. The season ended on a high note however, when UCLA beat rival USC, 45-20, in a game that was not that close. This would end up being Prothrow's final game at UCLA. Prothrow was frustrated by bizarre officiating at critical moments, numerous last-minute narrow losses, and losing out of the Rose Bowl by the conference vote in 1966. Prothrow also decried the Pac-8 rule that only allowed the conference champion to go to a bowl game, he witnessed many lower-ranked inferior teams from the Big 8, Southeastern and Southwest conferences, often ones he defeated during the season go to bowl games while his Bruins stayed home. After George Allen was fired by the Los Angeles Rams, Prothrow accepted that job, leaving the Bruins after six seasons and a 41-18-3 record. 
Prothrow was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame as a coach in 1991. Pepper Rogers Era, 1971-1973 Pepper Rogers came to UCLA from Kansas after the departure of Prothrow. In Rogers' three seasons at the helm of the Bruins, UCLA finished 2-7-1, 8-3 and 9-2. In 1972, the Bruins began the season with a 2017 victory over two-time defending national champion Nebraska, and finished the season ranked number 17 and number 15 in the final coaches and AP polls, respectively. In 1973, the Bruins finished ranked number 9 and number 12 in the final coaches and AP polls, respectively. Rogers surprised UCLA fans, players, and administration by deciding to accept the head football coach position at his alma mater, Georgia Tech after the 1973 season. He left the Bruins after compiling a 1912-1 overall record. Dick Vermel era, 1974-1975 As head coach at UCLA, Dick Vermel compiled a 15-5-3 record in two seasons. 1974-1975, including a 9-2-1 record in 1975 when he led the Bruins to their first conference championship in 10 years, and a win in the Rose Bowl over undefeated and number one ranked Ohio State. Vermel won Pac-8 Coach of the Year honors in 1975. Vermel became the second out of three UCLA head coaches, and third in a row to leave UCLA for another job to leave for the NFL when he accepted on offer to become head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. His final record as head coach of the Bruins is 15-5-3. Terry Donahue era, 1976-1995 Terry Donahue was promoted from assistant coach to head coach of the Bruins football team following Vermel's departure. Donahue has the most conference wins of any head coach in Pacific 10 Conference history, 98 and also the most wins in UCLA football history, 151. His teams compiled a record of 8-4-1 in bowl games and were the first to win a bowl game in seven consecutive seasons. Donahue's UCLA teams won or shared five Pacific 10 Conference championships and won three Rose Bowls, 1983, 1984, and 1986. Donahue's record was 10-9-1 against USC in the UCLA-USC rivalry. His teams won four New Year's Day Bowl games in a row from 1983 to 1986. Donahue retired from coaching after 20 seasons and was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame as a coach in 2000. His final record is 151-748. Bob Toledo era, 1996-2002 Bob Toledo was promoted from offensive coordinator to head coach of the Bruins after Donahue's retirement. In 1996, his first season as head coach, the Bruins finished with a 5-6 record. The highlight of the season was a comeback win over USC. The 1997 team finished as CO champions of the Pacific 10 Conference with Washington State. However, with Washington State defeating the Bruins in the season opener, the Cougars earned the right to play in the Rose Bowl. The highlights of that season were a 66-3 win over the Texas and a victory at the Cotton Bowl Classic over Texas A&M, M, and a victory over USC. The 1998 season started out as one of the best in the history of UCLA football. The team was high enough in the BCS standings to merit entry to the national championship game, and all UCLA needed to do was beat unranked University of Miami who were major underdogs after a 66-13 loss to Syracuse the week before. UCLA was also coming off of their 8th consecutive victory over USC and 20th straight win overall. However, Miami won 49-45, ending Uckless' chances of playing in the national championship game. They instead settled for a trip to the Rose Bowl as Pac-10 champions, but lost to Wisconsin. This is seen as the turning point for the UCLA football program. The 1999 season was a major disappointment, with the team finishing 4-7. This was the first year that USC had defeated them in the annual battle for the victory bell since 1990. The year also had the dubious distinction of a 55-7 loss to Pac-10 foe Oregon State, the worst defeat of the Bruins in 69 years. In 2000, the Bruins finished 6-6 with a loss in the Sun Bowl, 
again against Wisconsin. The 2001 season started with promise as the Bruins got off to a fast start with a 6-0 record. However, four straight losses to Stanford, Washington State, Oregon, and USC, the Bruins faded out of postseason contention. UCLA finished off 8-5 in Toledo's final season in 2002. The team finished 7-5 in the regular season, but Toledo was fired after a fourth straight loss to USC. The Bruins did reach the Las Vegas Bowl and interim coach Ed Kazarian coached and won his only game in charge of the program. Toledo finished with a record of 49-32, for a winning percentage of .605, including one winning streak of 20 consecutive victories, a school record. Toledo's greatest accomplishment with the team may have been in the 1997 season, where the team finished 10-2 with a victory over Texas A&M, M in the Cotton Bowl Classic. Toledo's Bruins were 3-4 against Uckless Crosstown arch-rival, the USC Trojans. Carl Dorail Era, 2003-2007 This section is too long. Consider splitting it into new pages, adding subheadings, or condensing it. January 2018 Longtime college and NFL assistant Carl Dorail was brought in to revive the glory of the UCLA football program, his alma mater, after Toledo was fired. Dorail also was brought into UCLA to clean up a program marred by off-the-field problems in the final years of Bob Toledo's tenure. He was the first African-American head football coach in UCLA football history. Dorail's UCLA Bruins team recorded a mark of 6-7 in his first season as head coach in 2003, with an appearance in the Silicon Valley Bowl, and a loss to Fresno State. In 2004, his second season, the team finished with a record of 6-6 in appearance in the Las Vegas Bowl, with a loss to Wyoming. In 2005, his third season as head football coach, Dorail was able get his first win against a ranked opponent, No. 21 Oklahoma, featuring Adrian Peterson. On October 1, 2005, head coach Tyrone Willingham and his Washington Huskies came to the Rose Bowl for a Pacific 10 Conference game to play UCLA. This was the first time two black head coaches faced each other in a Pac-10 conference game. At the time, Sylvester Croom of Mississippi State was the only other black coach heading an NCAA Division I football program. Dorail achieved his first win against a top-10 opponent with a 47-40 upset win over no-10 ranked rival California. Three Bruin wins in the 2005 season set new school records for biggest comebacks earning the nickname the Cardiac Kids. They came thanks largely to the heroics of quarterback Drew Olson and tailback Maurice Jones-Drew. In the regular season the Bruins came from down 21 points to win in overtime against both Washington State and Stanford. In the Stanford comeback, the Bruins scored 21 points in the final 7-0-4 of the fourth quarter. In the Sun Bowl, the Bruins set the record again by coming back from 22 points down. The Bruins were ranked number 7 in the nation until a 52-14 blowout loss to a 3-8 Arizona team. The Bruins came into the UCLA-USC rivalry last regular season game ranked number 11. They suffered a 66-19 defeat to the number 1 2005 USC Trojans football team. This was the largest margin of defeat since the series began in 1929 with a 76-0 defeat. The Bruins finished third in the Pac-10 standings. On December 30, 2005 his Bruins defeated the Northwestern Wildcats in the Sun Bowl, 50-38, finishing the season with a 10-2 record. At the end of the 2005 season, Dorail received pay bonuses for coaching successful seasons. He was named Pac-10 CO Coach of the Year along with USC head coach Pete Carroll. In 2006, Dorail's fourth season, the Bruins finished the season 7-6, 5-4 in conference, and finished fourth place in the Pac-10. UCLA played its first game at the University of Notre Dame since the 1960s and was leading 17-13, but the Irish scored a touchdown in the final minute to win. The most notable victory of his coaching career at UCLA was a 13-9 defeat of no two ranked and bowl championship series title game bound USC on December 2, 2006. 
the win kept the Trojans out of the title game and broke a seven-game UCLA losing streak to the Trojans, thereby preserving the Bruins' eight-game win streak over USC from 1991 to 1998 as the longest run in the history of the rivalry. The victory also clinched a winning season for UCLA. The Bruins played in the Emerald Bowl in San Francisco against a Bobby Bowden-coached Florida State team on December 27, 2006 and lost, 44-27. In Doral's fifth season at UCLA, with 20 returning starters and a team of his own recruits, hopes were high for the Bruins in 2007. After starting the season with a couple of wins over Stanford and BYU, and achieving a number 11 AP poll ranking, however, UCLA stumbled against an injured, winless, and unranked Utah team, 44-6. Four weeks later, Doral's Bruins fell again, this time 26 to an unranked, winless Notre Dame team. The Bruins did, however, post wins against seemingly more difficult Pac-10 opponents, including a number 10 Cal team. However, the bad taste of losses to teams the Bruins were favored to beat, including an embarrassing 27-7 loss to Washington State, raised questions about Doral's play calling and ability to motivate his players. After the Washington State loss, UCLA Athletic Director Dan Guerrero addressed UCLA's inconsistent football performances for the first time, stating I will be very interested to see how we finish the season. And you can use that. Many took this as a hint that Doral's job might be in serious jeopardy. The Bruins would go on to lose to Arizona and Arizona State by a combined score of 58-47, but surprisingly shut out an Oregon Ducks team that a week earlier lost starting quarterback and Heisman Trophy candidate Dennis Dixon to a knee injury. Heading into the final game of the regular season against crosstown rival USC, the Bruins still had an outside chance at a Rose Bowl berth that might have saved Doral's job with a victory over USC and some help from Arizona, with a win over ASU, the Bruins could have been the first ever five-loss team to play in the Rose Bowl. It wasn't to be, however, and the Bruins finished the 2007 regular season with a miserable offensive performance in a 24-7 loss to USC and a record of 6-6. On December 3, 2007, Los Angeles Papers and the Associated Press reported that Carl Dorail was fired during a meeting with athletic director Dan Guerrero. Dorail was offered the choice, but decided not to coach in the Las Vegas Bowl. Defensive coordinator Dwayne Walker served as interim coach for the game, where UCLA lost to BYU. Rick Nuhezel era, 2008-2011 This section is too long. Consider splitting it into new pages, adding subheadings, or condensing it. January 2018 Coach Nuhezel On December 29, 2007, Baltimore Ravens offensive coordinator Rick Nuhezel, formerly head coach at Colorado and Washington, was brought back to his alma mater and hired as UCLA's 15th head football coach after his former Bruins teammate Doral was fired. Nuhezel coined the phrase passion bucket during an interview on the Dan Patrick show by saying, when you're at UCLA, you have to have your passion bucket full when you play the Trojans. Nuhezel had his first win on September 1 as the Bruins head coach as they defeated No. 18 Tennessee, 27-24. The win came in overtime as Tennessee's field goal try sailed wide left. However, the team's momentum came to a halt in successive weeks. A brutal 59-0 defeat on the road at the hands of No. 15 BYU was followed by a disappointing 31-10 loss at home to unranked Arizona in the Bruins' Pac-10 opener. The UCLA offense failed to score a touchdown in either contest. The team finished the season 4-8 overall and 3-6 in conference. Despite this record, Nuhezel was still able to secure the fifth-best recruiting class in the nation in 2009 as rated by Scout.com. The class was headlined by Morrill Presley, Randall Carroll, offensive lineman Xavier Sua Philo and Stan Hajuk, and running back Damian Thigpen. The 2009 season showed signs of improvement, with a potential bright future ahead, finishing 7-6 with a bowl win over Temple. The UCLA 2010 recruiting class was strong, as New Hesel swayed many recruits away from USC. Nevertheless, the Bruins fell to 4-8 in 2010, 
losing six of their last seven games and failing to receive a bowl berth. Player injuries and other attrition depleted UCLA of its roster depth, while true freshmen were forced into action and seniors who were previously reserves became starters a quarterback who had attempted only 17 passes in his career became the starter. At the end of the season Nuhezel fired two assistant coaches, including Chow, and said he would be crushed, if we're not going to a bowl game a year from now. The 2011 season brought about continued mediocre performance, although the team's record improved to 6-6 in regular season play. Despite the lackluster overall record, the Bruins won the first Pac-12 South Division title, as crosstown rival USC was ineligible due to NCAA sanctions. A 50-0 shutout loss to USC to end the regular season UCLA's fifth consecutive loss to the Trojans prompted speculation that Nuhezel would be fired. Nuhezel was fired as head coach of UCLA on November 28, 2011. He was allowed to coach his final game at the December 2nd. Pac-12 Conference Football Championship game, where the team lost 49-31 to the Oregon Ducks. Jim Mora era, 2012-2017. This section is too long. Consider splitting it into new pages, adding subheadings, or condensing it. January 2018. Coach Mora. On December 10, 2011. UCLA Athletics Director Dan Guerrero announced the hiring of former Atlanta Falcons and Seattle Seahawks head coach, Jim L. Mora, as the Bruins' 16th head football coach. Mora signed a three-year contract. The results of the new regime came early, as UCLA landed a consensus number 12 ranked recruiting class in 2012 after having a class ranked in the high 40s at Rick Nuhezel's departure. In Mora's first season, the Bruins finished 9-5 capped with a loss in the 2012 Holiday Bowl. In Mora's second season, the Bruins improved to 10-3, capping the season with a victory in the 2013 Sun Bowl. Behind the leadership of quarterback Brett Hundley, the Bruins came within one game of reaching the Pac-12 championship game and beat crosstown rivals USC for the second straight year. In 2014, the Bruins finished 10-3 again. The team beat rival USC for the third straight year and won the Alamo Bowl against Kansas State. Paul Perkins led the Pac-12 in rushing with 1,575 yards. Mora's fourth season in 2015 saw the arrival of freshman quarterback Josh Rosen, a rash of injuries, and erratic play by the offense. The Bruins finished 8-5, including a loss to Nebraska in the Foster Farms Bowl. The Bruins finished 4-8 in 2016. The Bruins began the season with a close road loss to Texas A&M, M by a score of 31-24 in overtime. After defeating UNLV and BYU, Mora's squad lost to number 7 Stanford by a score of 22-13. After beating Arizona, the Bruins lost their next four to Arizona State, Washington State, number 19 Utah, and number 21 Colorado. After defeating Oregon State by a score of 38-24, UCLA dropped its last two to number 15 USC and California. In the 2017 season opener, Josh Rosen completed 35 of 59 passes for 491 yards and four touchdowns to rally UCLA to a 45-44 win over Texas A&M. M. The Bruins overcame a 34-point deficit the largest comeback in school history and the second most ever in the Football Bowl subdivision, FBS. On November 19, 2017, UCLA announced the firing of Mora following 23-28 loss to USC at the Coliseum. Chip Kelly era, 2018-present. On November 25, 2017, UCLA hired Chip Kelly as their head football coach signing him to a five-year $23.3 million contract. Conference Affiliations Independent, 1919 Southern California Intercollegiate Athletic Conference, 1920-1927 Pac-12 Conference, 1928-present Pacific Coast Conference, 1928-1958 Athletic Association of Western Universities, 1959-1967
Pacific 8 Conference, 1968-1977 Pacific 10 Conference, 1978-2010 PAC-12 Conference, 2011-present Championships National Championships UCLA has won one national championship. 113 This consensus national championship is claimed by the school. 120 Year Coach Selectors Record Bowl 1954 Henry Russell Sanders Dunkel, Football Research, FW, Helms, Litken House, National Championship Foundation, UPI 9060 None, no repeat rule denied Rose Bowl. Conference Championships UCLA has won 17 conference championships as of the 2017 season. 101 Year Coach Conference Overall record Conference record 1935 William H. Spalding PCC A2 41 1942 Edwin C. Horrell 74 61 1946 Bert La Brutchery 10 1 70 1953 Henry Russell Sanders A2 61 1954 90 60 1955 92 60 1959 William F. Barnes, AAWU, 541, 31, 1961, 74, 31, 1965, Tommy Prothrow, 821, 40, 1975, Dick Vermel, Pacific 8, 921, 61, 1982, Terry Donahue, Pacific 10, 1011, 511, 1983, 741, 611, 1985, 921, 62, 1987, 102, 71, 1993, 84, 62, 1997, Bob Toledo, 10 2, 7 1, 1998, 10 2, 8 0, CO Champions, Division Championships, UCLA has won two division championships as of 2017, 101, Year, Division, Coach, Opponent, CG Result, 2011, Pac-12 South Rick Neuhesel Oregon L3149 2012 Pac-12 South Jim L. Mora Stanford L2427 Head Coaches UCLA has had 17 head coaches Tenure Coach Record 1919 Fred Cousins 26 1920 1922 Harry Trotter 2131 1923 1924 James J Klein 2103 1925 1938 William H Spalding 72518 1939 1944 Edwin C Horrell 24316 1945-1948 Bert La Brutchery 2316 1949-1957 Henry Russell Sanders 66191 1958-1964 William F Barnes 3134-3 1965-1966 Tommy Prothrow. 
41 18 3 1971 1973 Pepper Rogers 1912 1 1974 1975 Dick Vermel 1553 1976 1995 Terry Donahue 1511 74 8 1996 2002 Bob Toledo 4932 2003 2007 Carl Dorail 3527 2008 2011 Rick Neuhesel 2129 2012 2017 Jim L. Mora 4630 2018 present Chip Kelly 312 Rivalries USC Main article UCLA USC rivalry. UCLA's rivalry with USC is unusual in that they are one of a few pairs of Division I FBS programs that share a major city. Both are within the Los Angeles city limits, approximately 10 miles, 16 and NBSP, KM, apart. Until 1982, the two schools also shared the same stadium, the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. The crosstown rivals play each year for city bragging rights and the victory bell, and, historically, often for the right to go to the Rose Bowl. USC leads the all-time series, two Southern Cal victories vacated by the NCAA. California See also, California-UCLA football rivalry. The Bruins also enjoy an annual rivalry with another in-state conference foe, the California Golden Bears. The rivals have faced each other 88 times, every year starting in 1933. As of November 28, 2017, UCLA leads the all-time series against Cal, 54-33-1. Facilities Rose Bowl Rose Bowl, Panorama Main article, Rose Bowl, Stadium The Rose Bowl is a national historic landmark located in Pasadena. California with an official capacity of 92,542. It has been the home football field for the UCLA Bruins since the 1982 season. The Bruins had played their home games at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum after joining the Pacific Coast Conference in 1928. The Coliseum is also the home of the rival USC Trojans. An on-campus facility was discussed, but faced significant political opposition including from the governor at the time, Edmund Gerald Pat Brown Sr. The Bruins had second priority in schedule at the Coliseum after the Trojans, but before the Los Angeles Rams. A 44,000-seat stadium on campus appeared in the 1963 Long Range Plan, at the site where Drake Stadium eventually was built. However, the proposal was blocked by influential area residents, as well as other politicians. In addition, the Coliseum already was constructed by and is a facility of the state of California. When the Oakland Raiders became the Los Angeles Raiders, in 1982, and after arduous negotiations with the city of Pasadena, UCLA decided to move out of the Coliseum, relocating its home games to the Rose Bowl Stadium. The Raiders had demanded control of the facility and luxury box revenue at the Coliseum. UCLA has participated in five Rose Bowl games since moving to the stadium, including the 1983 Rose Bowl at the end of the Bruins' first season there. In 1995, UCLA and the then Los Angeles Raiders almost became partners with the National Football League in a new stadium at Hollywood Park but the deal to build a stadium there was scuttled when Raiders owner Al Davis refused to accept a second NFL team at the proposed facility. From 1919 to 1927, the Bruins, then known as the Cubs, used Moore Field at the Vermont Ave campus of the southern branch of the University of California. Spalding Field Fall football practices at Spalding Field The on-campus practice facility for the football team is Spalding Field, which has two football fields, one grass and one artificial turf, or synthetic turf. Because of space constraints, the Bruins don't have a complete 100-yard field for practice. Wasserman Football Center The Wasserman Football Center, 
built immediately west of Spalding Field, was dedicated on August 1, 2017. Within the 75,000 square feet structure, there are training and treatment room, weight room, football facilities, the Troy Aikman Strength and Conditioning Center, and locker rooms. Also located in the center are coaches' offices, nutrition center, hydrotherapy pools, meeting rooms, and the Terry and Andrea Donahue Team Auditorium. Other amenities include a barbershop, players' lounge, and recruiting lounge and terrace. Uniforms Bruin on Bruin Scrimmage From 2004 to 2017, the official UCLA athletic colors were true blue and gold. The true blue is a slightly darker shade than the previous powder blue worn by teams. In the early days of the school, UCLA had the same colors as the California Golden Bears, Yale Blue and California Gold. Blue symbolized the ocean, while gold represented the state of California, known as the Golden State. When football coach Red Sanders came to UCLA for the 1949 season he redesigned the football uniforms. The Yale blue was changed to a lighter shade of blue. Sanders figured that the baby blue would look better on the field and in film. He would dub the baby blue uniform powder kick blue, powder blue with an explosive kick. For the 1954 season, Sanders added the now familiar loop on the shoulders, the UCLA stripe, to give an impression of motion. The away uniforms became white, with a navy blue and gold shoulder stripe and gold pants. The helmets became gold. At times, beginning with the 1954 football season, the font for the numbers on the uniforms has been Clarendon typeface. Otherwise it has been block numerals. In the 1980s the uniform pants became yellow to look better in color publications, the jerseys a lighter blue, and the UCLA script was added to the helmets. In the 1990s, the uniform pants became gold again. In 2003, the true blue colors were adopted. The away uniforms got true blue shoulder stripes and numbers in 2006, but were replaced by navy blue again in 2010. In 2009, the Bruins wore a 1967 throwback uniform against Washington and USC, though against USC the team's normal helmet was worn. All-time record versus current Pac-12 teams as of the conclusion of the 2016 NCAA Division IFBS football season. Opponent 1. Lost Tied Percentage Streak First meeting Arizona 24 16.610 Lost 1 1927 Arizona State 20 13.591.11.1976. California. 52. 33.610. Lost 1. 19.33. Colorado. 10.750.11.1980. Oregon. 39. 28.567.11.1928. Oregon State. 42. 16.710.12. 19.30. Stanford. 45. 41.528. Lost 10. 19.25. USC. 31. 47.411. Lost 3. 1929. Utah. 11. 0. 0.733. Lost 2. 1933. Washington. 39. 32. 0. 0.556. Lost 1. 1932. Washington State. 39. 21.648. Lost 2. 1928. Totals. 354. 255. 21. 0. 0.580. Bowl games. 
Main article, List of UCLA Bruins Bowl Games This section does not cite any sources. Please help improve this section by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. May 2017, Learn how and when to remove this template message. UCLA has played in 35 bowl games in its history, compiling a record of 16-18-1. From 1946 to 1974, no team could participate in the Rose Bowl two years in a row. This is why the 1954 team, which won the conference, did not participate in the 1955 Rose Bowl. Achievements and Awards Individual Award Winners Heisman Trophy Gary Bevan 1967 Maxwell Award Gary Bevan 1967 Davy O'Brien Award Troy Aikman 1988 John McKee Award Marcedes Lewis 2005 Lot Trophy Anthony Barr 2013 Eric Kendricks 2014 Butkus Award Eric Kendricks 2014 Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award Cade McNown 1998 Outland Trophy Jonathan Ogden 1995 Chris Ferris 1998 Lou Grizza Award Kai Forbath 2009 Kai I.M.I. Fairbairn, 2015 Morris Trophy Offense Jonathan Ogden 1995 Xavier Suafilo 2013 Defense Kenyon Coleman 2001 Dave Ball 2003 Coach of the Year Tommy Prothrow, 1965 Dick Vermel 1975 Terry Donahue 1985, 1993 Bob Toledo 1998 UCLA became the first school to have a top winner in both basketball and football in the same year with Gary Bevan winning the Heisman Trophy and Lou Olsindor, now Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, winning the U.S. Basketball Writers Association Player of the Year Award in 1968. College Football Hall of Famers This list, which may have dates, numbers, etc., may be better in a sortable table format. Please help improve this list or discuss it on the talk page. December 2017 The following former Bruins have been inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Troy Aikman, 2008 Gary Bevan, 1988 Randy Cross, 2010 Terry Donahue, 2000 Kenny Easley, 1991 Tom Fears, 1976 Billy Kilmer, 1999 Don Mumwa, 1973 Jonathan Ogden, 2012 Tommy Prothrow, 1991 Jerry Robinson, 1996 Red Sanders, 1996 John Chiara, 2014 Al Sparless, 1983 Kenny Washington, 1956 UCLA football team's Rose Bowl records Rose Bowl MVPs Bob Stiles, 1966, DB John Chiara, 1976, QB Don Rogers, 1983, FS Tom Ramsey, 1983, QB Rick Neuhesel, 1984, QB Eric Ball, 1986, TB. Rose Bowl Hall of Fame. John Chiara, 1991. Bob Stiles, 1993. Gary Bevan, 1995. Eric Ball, 1996. Terry Donahue, 1997. Rick Neuhesel, 1998. Al Hoich, 1999. Tom Ramsey, 2007 Dick Vermel, 2014 Bruins in the NFL Over 300 UCLA Bruins football players have gone on to play in the National Football League, NFL. 
six of them have been inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Troy Aikman, 2006. Kenny Easley, 2017. Tom Fears, 1970. Jimmy Johnson, 1994. Jonathan Ogden, 2013. Bob Waterfield, 1965. 23 former Bruins have appeared in at least 150 NFL games. They are Norm Johnson 273 games, PK 1982-1999. Max Montoya 223 games, AUG 1979-1994. Jimmy Johnson 213 games, DB 1961-1976. Roman Pfeiffer 212 games, LB 1991-2005. Marvkus Patton 208 games, LB 1992-2002. Dave Dalby 205 games, C 1972-1985. Donnie Edwards 197 games, LB 1996-2008. Mark Twinia 195 games. OT 1983-1997 Ken Norton Jr. 191 games, LB 1988-2000 Louis Sharp 189 games, OT 1982-1994 Randy Cross 185 games, OL 1976-1988 Carnell Lake 185 games, DB 1989-2001 Jerry Robinson 184 games, LB 1979-1991. Jonathan Ogden 177 games, OT slash OG 1996-2007. Billy Kilmer 170 games, QB 1961-1978. Travis Kirschk 169 games, de 1997-2009. Duval Love 167 games, AUG 1985-1996. Fred McNeil 167 games, LB 1974-1985. Mike Lodish 166 games, DT 1990-2000. Troy Aikman 165 games, QB 1989-2000. Bruce Davis 160 games. OT 1979-1989 Don Shinnick 159 games, LB 1957-1969 Marcedes Lewis 170 games, TE 2006-2017 Retired numbers See also, UCLA Bruins men's basketball retired numbers. The following players have been honored with retired numbers. 5 Kenny Easley 8. Troy Aikman 13. Kenny Washington 16. Gary Bebin 34. Paul Cameron 38. Burr Baldwin 42. Jackie Robinson retired across all UCLA sports on November 22, 2014. Kenny Young, a linebacker who wore number 42 as a freshman in the 2014 season, will be allowed to continue wearing the number for the remainder of his UCLA career if he so chooses. 79 Jonathan Ogden 80 Don Mumwa 84 Jerry Robinson Media KLAC 570 AM in Los Angeles, AM 570, is the current flagship radio station for UCLA football. New York Mets announcer Josh Lewin and Matt Stevens are the current broadcast team in the booth along with sideline reporter Wayne Cook, who is a former Bruin quarterback. Lewin replaced former announcer Bill Roth, who had taken over for Chris Roberts in 2015, after 27 years as the voice of Virginia Tech football. Former play-by-play -play announcers include John Riebensturf, 1991, Paul Olden, 1989-1990, Joel Myers, 1984-1988, Kent Durdavanis, 1983-1985, Fred Hessler, 1961-1982, and Roy Story. Former UCLA football analysts include Billy Ray Smith, 1997-2000, Steve Hartman, 1996, David Norrie, 
1991-1995, John Riebensturf, 1990, Bob Steinbrink, 1972-1989, Bob Waterfield, 1959, Sam Balter, 1950-1958. Future non-conference opponents. Announced schedules as of July 1, 2019. 2019. 2020. 2021. 2022. 2023. 2024. 2025. 2026. 2027. 2028. 2029. 2030. At Cincinnati. New Mexico State. Hawaii. Bowling Green. Michigan. At LSU. Georgia. At Georgia. Auburn. At Auburn. Wisconsin. At Wisconsin. San Diego State. At Hawaii. LSU. At Michigan. At San Diego State. UNLV. At UNLV. San Diego State. Hawaii. Oklahoma. At San Diego State. Fresno State. South Alabama. Coastal Carolina. Fresno State. New Mexico. Footnotes. Michigan State had a 35-point comeback win over Northwestern in 2006. As a UCLA football player, Robinson wore number 28, however, the school chose to retire number 42, which became indelibly identified with him because it was the number he wore throughout his Hall of Fame baseball career with the Brooklyn Dodgers, which included his becoming the first African-American player in the modern era of professional baseball.